Um, I just wanted to talk about shadow work for a minute. So the people who come to this channel who aren't like super familiar with tarot and all the technology or technology terminology, when someone talks about shadow work, we're not talking about dancing naked under the moon or any cauldron crap or any doo-doo juju. Okay. There will be no doo-doo juju up on my channel. There will be no sex magic. There will be none of that. If you have to use sex magic, you don't scare me because I think you're weak, okay? If you have to do doo-doo juju, you're weak, okay? Because strong people do the work, okay? Strong people put the work in and they don't cut corners, okay? I mean, work smart, not hard, but also you got to work hard, you know? But anyways, I'm going to read this um, from the Sacred sisterhood tarot um guidebook about like shadow work and their definition of shadow work just to clarify for everyone so there's a part in each of us that we tend to keep hidden from others a part that carries this the shame the shame of the flaws we are convinced we have that separate us from others we also keep it Keep in, I should have read this first, sorry guys. We also keep in this part of us, the things that we have done that we think no one would forgive us for. You know, think of all the bad things you've done wrong and like karma, where I know that I have not always been a perfect person. I know when I've been a bad girlfriend in the past, you know, I know when I was super codependent, like me, like realizing that and, and realizing the things that you've done wrong and not carrying the shame of it anymore. That's shadow work. That's like inner growth. Okay. Um, the tarot can help us to see that these flaws can be turned into strengths if we look at them from a different perspective. One that doesn't point fingers, but instead points out how we can look at ourselves with compassion during this age of love and light, it's important to understand that the negative parts of ourselves can also offer wisdom. Like we were all young. We all made mistakes. We've all been the bad guy in somebody's story. So again, don't think for a minute that I'm sitting here preaching that I'm princess because I'm not like I used to be hell on wheels. We didn't go around like robbing everyone and wronging everyone and like using everyone at my disposal. But I still was not the best person, mostly because I hated myself. I didn't believe that I deserved nice things. I didn't believe that I deserved love. So if I, you know, when I was, I mean, younger, I don't mean like, you know, being married and like cheating on your spouse. I mean, you know, more in our younger casual dating days, like if I just completely ghosted someone or something it really wasn't because I was trying to hurt them. It was really because I thought so low of myself. I thought that it wouldn't bother them. It wouldn't even bat a blink of their eye. So we're all insecure about different things. And so, um, you know, it took me a long time to realize that I am worthy of love and that I probably hurt a lot of people in my younger days. So... Uh, beginning this work can be difficult, especially when it comes to pinpointing exactly what we need to heal. But with the aid of the tarot, you don't have to use tarot to do this. This is just what I'm reading out of the tarot book. Um, with the aid of the tarot, we can begin to peel back the layers of ourselves. Just to start, begin shuffling and then ask the tarot what lies in your shadow. Okay, so this would be like me doing self-shadow work with the tarot. Um, my chihuahua's humping the pet pig under the table here. To start, begin shuffling and then ask the tarot what lies in your shadow. Pay attention to the card that either jumps out or that you pull. This card will start to investigate the process by giving use something to consider contemplate what the card could be trying to say while also noticing what you may be feeling at the time so we could do that for people if you want i mean if you need help with that 
and also like you have to remember like also with tarot like depending on how the reader is reading they're not everyone's like oh psychics are using this that and the other they're just selling you bs mm, tarot is a little different tarot is really more about like self-discovery and we're just the card readers you have to decipher what it means to you so um you know it's i'm not trying to sell you anything but plant hangers eventually we'll do private readings but again i'm not claiming that i'm going to be like tomorrow you'll win five thousand dollars here's the number you know now astrology probably would be better at pinpointing that but um i'm no astrology expert so I'm not going to claim to be. I'm very clairvoyant, very psychic, um, very in tune, very em empathic. Um, that's why I'm called the divine fool because that's a Hayoka empath and a Hayoka is a healer through laughter. So um, I'm not trying to sell you anything but your own dreams and help you realize them and, and be motivating to you and um, I think there's enough success to go around for everyone. But anyways, that was the long, uh, drawn out um, kind of definition of what shadow work is and just looking at what you know you've done wrong and, and growing from that, you know? And I don't think you have to write every single person a letter to, you know, ask for forgiveness and all that. I don't know if that's still a 12 step program thing or what, I never did that, but, um, I'm just saying, you know, to get right with God, you could just, or yourself, um, you know, it's identifying and, and moving forward. And like I said, I'm, I'm totally promote you. If you want to wake up and be a different person tomorrow, uh, go do it. If you're a city guy and you wake up tomorrow and you want to be a cowboy, cowboy up. Um, if you are a cowboy and tomorrow you want to go to law school, do it, do it. So um, whatever you're being called to do, do it. Be good at what you do. Be a good person. Help other people. Okay, shadow work. I've done a lot this year. A lot. A lot. I did not leave the house for almost an entire year. Like we're literally coming up on a year for me. So I've, I've but I've got to get out of hermit mode or I'm never going to move forward. So, but this is a great healing for me is also putting myself out there for everyone to see so i may not leave the house but if i get my word out i'm i'm i, I feel successful so